Hello, today I have something interesting. This is M5 Stack Paper Development Board. I used this development board only a couple of times. Of course, this board is also powered by ESP32. Usually I'm using TFT displays because they are much faster than this e-paper display or a ink display but sometimes I don't need fast display uh, animation or color graphics sometimes better life is most important so here it is this project can run more than 10 days on battery maybe even more I haven't tested it yet and how is this possible it is simple this is e-paper display when power is turned off, e-paper will hold last image. Right now this device is turned off. Only thing that currently draws battery is built-in real-time clock chip. Every 10 minutes real-time clock chip will wake uh, or turn on this device, data on screen will be updated and then device will be shut off again for another 10 minutes. So this way battery can uh, last for a long time because the device is turned on just for a short amount of time. Uh, this is another project that, show, uh, that shows current temperature and humidity, but now uh, it shows indoor temperature and humidity and outdoor. M5 paper have built in uh, let me see where it is, uh, SHT30 temperature and humidity sensor. Here we can see data from that sensor and here we can see data from internet. I uh, used uh, open weather A API to get temperature and humidity uh, I don't know, wind speed and pressure data. Using this API you can get this data for any town in the world using of course Wi-Fi connection. I will not explain how to use Open Weather API because I already explained the, the, that in this video. So if you want to learn how to make this okay right now is screen is updating And here are the data. Um, so if you want to learn how to make this, check description. Link of uh, this video is there. Also in description you can find code, buying link and more useful data like uh, libraries and so on. If you are here for the first time, feel free to subscribe. Every new subscriber is motivation for making these videos. Thank you. If you want, you can also buy me coffee. Link is in the description. Ah, I love coffee. Uh, code for this is not too long. Hardest part was making this uh, graphical design. And I will tell you truth. This is a simple image I created in Paint.net. When device is powered on, this picture will be drawn first on the screen. I think this looks great. I'm not a graphical designer, but I'm pretty happy with results. It is very easy to display image on this e-paper because this device have a uh, SD card reader. So image needs to be stored on memory card. We can see in code how easy it is to display image on this good looking display. Image is also in code folder, don't forget to copy it to your SD card if you own this device. Um, here we can see additional data like uh, wind speed, air pressure, um, when data are last time updated and battery voltage. This interesting device have also this navigation switch, three-way up, 
down and press it also support touch screen but uh, it also have touch screen but these features are not needed in this project for this project high capacity battery temperature and humidity sensor real time clock built in three grew ports for additional uh, modules and sensors overall very nice device this is my uh, most expensive board based on ESP32 but uh, but e-paper displays are always pricey I think this is a great development board my only problem is that I want more of this if you are interested in buying this link is in description price is great right now because Black Friday that's it feel free to use my code check the description for instructions and more information tell me what you think in comments and have a nice day subscribe like share uh, and so on thank you goodbye